Woohoo! Mystic Glow Lady here. I'm going to surround this with the divine white light. What comes through me is not of me, and we're just going to have a good time. As I shuffle a few more times for this reading for Virgo of July 2015, we had a card, card jump out at us, and the card is Justice. Where is the justice in this month, Virgo? Something is saying that um, justice will be just justice will be delivered in the month of July, Virgo. So there's a lot of you that have been. Um, waiting on that karma to come back and pay you back and keep an eye out in July because it looks like it just might. As we started out on the bottom we have the Nine of Wands, the great strength, the hard work that you have done right there on the bottom, what you have to work with. As we started out this month we'll start out in the first house. Wow, isn't that amazing? Virgo, Justice jumped right out into your first house position. So, looks like we are really going to be feeling good this month of July, Virgo, because we are going to be getting our just rewards, and it's about time. In our second house, we have the Princess of Pentacles. What could be better than Pentacles in a money house? In the third house position, we have the Queen of Cups. The third house is our short distance travels, our communications, and it looks like things are going to be flowing quite well for you in the month of July. This is my precious Bella May, for those of you who have not met her. And she likes to hang out. I had taken her over to the neighbors, and she decided that she wanted to bark and let her presence known, so I brought her back over here. So, now she's making her presence known. Okay, we have, in the fourth house position, we have the Emperor. So, we have a lot of, of, of justice, of uh, legal um, cards right now, and with you, and with your home. Okay, sorry about the interruptions. So, we're going on to the fifth house. The fifth house. Okay, sorry about that rude interruption there, Virgo. But isn't that how life is? Just when you get on the roll of it, somebody comes along and disrupts you. So, your fifth house. You have... Uh, your family resources. You have the Empress. The Empress is new birth, new beginnings, new creations. So, hi Bella. Okay, in your sixth house, in your sixth house of work and your health, things are going great for you this month. Virgo, it's looking very, very good. And if you hear those puppies crying, yes, that is what it is. It's the neighbor's puppies crying. So, here we have the Two of Swords, the Peace Restored in your seventh house of relationship. Your first house of you. Your fourth house of home. Your seventh house of relationships. The communication in your relationships is going well, and it's making things on your in your home much nicer to um, to be around. 
in your eighth house, you have the Ten of Pentacles, and that is other people's money. It is um, death, taxes, and you have the Wealth card coming from other people. So cash is going to be flowing very well for you the month of July, Virgo. That is a great thing to see. Then we have in your ninth house, we have the Princess of Wands. And the ninth house is your higher learning. It is long distance travels. So if you are planning to go to school to study, it is going to work out very well for you. If you are talking about traveling, uh, moving for work, it will work out good for you in July, Virgo. And in your career house, we have the universe. What is your perfect career? Because you're working yourself towards it, Virgo. And I'm sure that it feels very good for you. Now, in the 11th house, those are your friends and associates. I would hold myself a little bit closer to me. Um, I would not be giving too much energy out to other people that are just acquaintances because you know the difference between your friends and acquaintances. And you know that your acquaintances are more inclined to take more from you. So in dealing with them, um, what's that saying? You know when to hold them, no one to fold them. Now, we have the death card. The death card in the 12th house, and that is hidden enemies. It is jails, institutions, and the death card is an end of. So those friends that are not good for you, and you know that they are not good for you, let them behind you and move forward. Okay? Those friends that you know that have taken more than they have given because um, they, they depleted you. So, move on. Those friends, that those hidden enemies, um, you're going to recognize them in July and leave them, leave them go. Pass, pass, them, pass them by. They are, are, not, are not, they will be the end of you if you don't. How's that? Okay? I'm um, not really literally, but figuratively, um, don't give your friends too much because those friends will just take and not give back in any form or fashion. Now, in your first house, we have um, Virgo, and Virgo is getting things organized. Now, Venus is going to end up on the 19th at zero degrees of Virgo. And then on the 25th, it's going to go retrograde, and it'll be going back into, into Leo, okay? But that won't be until uh, the 25th. So for most of the, of the month, Venus will be over here in your 12th house, and I'm sure that there are going to be friends that you do not want to leave behind, but for your sake, it would be better if, if you did. Now, we go to the second house, and we have Libra in the second house, and the North Node is there. The North Node, what are you aspiring to? Now, it's going to be going retrograde and direct a couple of times back and forth. 
but it will start out at 5 degrees and end up at 2 degrees the end of the month. So where's that balance that is needed in what you are looking for? Let me move Bella out of the way. She just loves to hang out. Okay, in your third house, you have Scorpio. And you have Saturn retrograde in the third house. Saturn is the teacher. Scorpio is the secrets. Where are those uh, deep secrets that you have, that you have been, been keeping in? Are they hurting you or are they helping you? Have you learned those lessons? Because Saturn there is there in order to, to teach you some more. So in your communications, because it's in your uh, communications and short distance travel, what are the lessons that you needed to learn in communicating with other people? Say what you mean, mean what you say, don't say it mean, but get it said. In your fourth house, we have Sagittarius, and Sagittarius is that fun-loving, and you are more holding down the fort. It's not so much fun-loving. I mean, you want to have fun, but you are holding down the fort. You are getting your act together, as they say. Now, in the fifth house, it's in Capricorn, and it, there's Pluto in there, and Pluto is retrograde at 14 degrees and at the end of the month it only goes back one degree into 13 degrees so pluto is death transformation rebirth and this is your family resources so there's going to be new beginnings in your family resources this month in july now here in your sixth house we have Aquarius, and that is your work, your health, and as I said, you're feeling pretty darn good about what you are doing. You are loving life in the month of July, Virgo. Come down here to your seventh house of partnerships, and you have Pisces in there. You also have Neptune. Neptune is retrograde, nine degrees in, <clears throat> excuse me, Pisces. So your illusions, delusions in the partnerships. You are finally starting to understand what you really want in a partnership. And Chiron is also there in your seventh house of partnerships. And Chiron is that wounded healer. Are you finally healing yourself from those painful relationships of the, of the past? You've done a whole lot of working in order to let go of the pain from past relationships. In your eighth house, we have Aries. And Uranus is in Aries at 20 degrees for the month of July. Aries is out there. New beginnings. Uranus is unexpected. There's a lot of money unexpected from other people coming in this month of July. So keep an eye out for, for that Virgo. In the ninth house... You have Taurus. Taurus is that grounded. Princess of Wands. The work. Grounded at work and schooling. Is that what, what you are really excited over? That you have the money to go to school? To do something that you really wanted to do? and didn't think you could do it is there traveling that's involved in that in that in that schooling in that learning it's um it's looking really good for you virgo now we have in the 10th house we have gemini and we have mercury 
in Gemini, where June had a retrograde and there was a lot of glitches, electrical communication, uh, mechanical breakdowns more so in the retrograde, but now Mercury is going to be flying through. So Mercury at 17 degrees on the 1st is going to fly into 0 degrees Cancer on the 9th. Then it's flying into 0 degrees of Leo on the 24th and ends up at 15 degrees in Leo at the end of the month. So communications is going to fly. What is it that's 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 needed quickly? Well, you're quickly gonna f gonna find out who your friends are, and it's like poof. You know, I don't I don't need you as my friend. I don't need a hidden enemy as my friend anymore. You are not giving, so why do I have to give all the time? Now, in your eleventh house, we have the sun. It will be at 8 degrees of Cancer on the 1st, and then it goes all the way up to 7 degrees of Leo, and that's at the end of the month. We have Mars. Mars, the energy, uh, the anger, uh, from 4 degrees to 24 degrees in Cancer. So, the people that you are going to leave behind, yes, you will feel sorry because you have to leave them behind, but you will know that it is much better for you, and hopefully it will also teach them not to be so dependent upon other people. Now, in your 12th house, you have Leo, and you have your Mercury, you have your sun coming in there at the end of the month. You have Jupiter. Jupiter is at 21 degrees, going to 27 degrees. Jupiter is multiplying. You have Venus in there, the 21 degree on the 1st. So it's not going to be that you really like getting rid of because you will feel emotionally connected to the people that need to be left behind, but you also know that in order to be happy, it is something that really needs to be done. So uh, this month, it's, um, it's looking very, very good for you. You're getting organized. We know how Virgo likes to be organized, and organizing who your friends and associates are will be something on the agenda for this month. Now, the full moon. Depending on where you live, the full moon in Capricorn will be on the first or the second, and that will fall into your fifth house as well as Pluto. And Pluto is change, transformation in your fifth house. That empress there, there just might be a change in an additional child. So if you are not wanting to have a child, just take those precautions. Otherwise, Pluto just might change the way things are going and make everything all new in the family. Then you have a new moon on the 15th. And that is in Cancer, and Cancer is over here in your 11th house, and your friends. Um, just because the old ones leave doesn't mean that there won't be new ones that will come in to replace those old ones. So it's kind of like you won't even, even miss them. So be open to the new friends that come in around the 15th. And at the end of the month, on the 31st, that is a blue moon, because it is the second full moon 
of the month of July, and it is in the sign of Aquarius, and that will be up here in your sixth house, your sixth house of work and of your health, and it's looking very good. I mean, these are new things. You are implementing new things, new beginnings the month of July. So, Virgo, it's looking fantastic for you. I thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing these videos. And I do hope that I give you some inspiration in order to live life with a smile on your face more often. So I look forward to seeing you again in August. And uh, see you. Love you. Bye.